Hey GTI fans, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is Zlot here and we are on actually my single player uh, at home. What I've done, <clears throat> you probably notice, recognize this as the uh, castle on wind. Yes it is. What I did is I ported the save file from the server over to my uh, PC at home here and I've just loaded it up in single game with the updated experimental version just to see if it would actually load in experimental 7 and it did and it actually converted everything and there's no errors or anything I'm actually quite happy about that um, <clears throat> but today I think I what I want to do is because experimental 7 is now out in public release and I've got to actually test all that sort of stuff against the server and I've got to modify a bunch of the starting stuff because how they've changed seven is the start is now a little bit more tiered survival wise where you're not going to build a CV right away you've got to actually warp using short range warp capabilities with the new SV warp to go to another system and get slightly more advanced materials to be able to build a CV. So I like that. I like it how it, they made that progression. Uh, what that means is I've got to remove a bunch of stuff from the starting um, planets and I've got to pull stuff out of the uh, starting play fields. I've got to move everything back. I've got to pull some of the play fields closer together so that SVs can actually warp to them and and do this and and so it's um so it's going to be a bunch of work so today i think we're just going to finish off the season with me showing off pretty much wind castle uh done on the exterior anyway uh, i mean i could go crazy with the interior decorations and stuff still on it but let's start off we'll um We'll do a quick foot, um, let's go into night vision mode, just, just right now, because it's so dark out. It's going to get light pretty soon and we'll jump in the SV. So these are my, my um, guest garages. Okay, so it's, it's really bright where there's light, so let's just go in. So here's the two guest garages. They lead to a, an entry that connects into the main elevator shaft tower so here's the normal reception area coffee room you can get like a coffee and donut here while you're waiting uh, doing whatever um, and then this leads into sorry it's a little my machine lags in this area of the castle I don't know why but it's obviously it's a real busy part of the castle I guess um, so we're going to go up to the cafeteria here and the Just gotta find it. Where are we? Here we are. So we'll go over to the cafeteria. These lead, I'll just quickly show you because the kind of dead ends here. This is a just a little office space that I made uh, above the reception area. Um, I think I've already shown you this in other episodes, but this is just a recap showing you the entire thing of of wind castle at this point uh deck that comes out and shares the deck with the uh medical center there um so i guess while we're over here let's just quickly view the medical center so this is the upstairs in the medical center where the um, patient recovery rooms are uh so this is a typical whoa got some you can see i my my machine just does not like this area of the castle the ram must be really intensive eventually once it all loads into ram it'll be fine it just takes a while to do that i don't know why but it actually this play field running the game on this play field uh when it fully loads into RAM is, is about nine gig of RAM <laughs> because of this stupid castle. 
Anyway, once I find any loads in the RAM, it'll be fine. I, I mean, I've got 16 gig of really fast RAM, so eventually it, it smooths out. Um, anyway, I just want to keep showing you the facilities. So this is the medical area. We're just going to pop our heads up into the loft area of the medical center. This is where the um, doctor's lounge area is. And... Um, So, little lounge area. I know it's really jittery, folks. Sorry, my, my machine. Let's go into first person view. It might help a little bit. Yeah, not really. Okay. So, this is, I don't know. <laughs> Stuff, deco, to fill it up. To make it hard for my RAM to load. And then this just overlooks the reception area, the medical, which we'll just jump over and, uh, oh, go down to this floor. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go down here. Sorry, this is the struggle part of the castle with my machine. Once again, once we get past this area, it'll smooth out. Okay, we go into the operating room. Come on. It's a little brutal, I know, sorry. Okay, so operating area. Got all the gear uh, necessary for uh, getting rid of any conditions. Um, and then over in the lab, uh, sample collection area, um, medicine construction, and yeah, so that's the medical facilities. And oh my god, the, the lag is killing me here, sorry guys, and this is not server side, this is my machine lagging, just come on, let me out. Thank you. We'll go over to the machine shop. Actually, you know what? We'll we'll leave the machine. Or is it getting light out now? Is it getting light out? It's getting light out. Let's do the machine shop right now, and then we'll fly around, look at the outside. We'll land upstairs. Okay, so let's just quickly um, do a tour of the inside. So this is my machine shop where I work on my SVs, HVs, whatever. Um, it's also a multi-layer parking garage, which I'm gonna show you right now too. So this has a, there's a bunch of, obviously there's a bunch of rooms that I have not finished decorating out or even like finished texturing completely. This is one of those, it's just an empty room of nothingness. There's a lot of those rooms in the castle because it's a lot of freaking rooms. Okay, we're gonna go up the control tower. And basically this just takes us to other levels of the machine shop, which are, I'll just show you really quick. They're not decoed, only the lower level I decoed out. So you can see this just leads to basically a, a hangar bay. So parking. Uh, so this is the second floor of parking. And then we have, and oh yeah, this just goes into another, another big empty room. Although that door leads to the uh, exterior walkway around the castle, the, uh, the uh, wall, the periaps. Okay, so let's go to the, I think this is the top level of the machine shop. Oh, I didn't punch a hole through there. Okay, so what do we got out here? And this, yes, this is the, see, I didn't even punch, I didn't even finish putting a door in because there's a a room buried in behind there. You can see I haven't finished texturing this, but again, it was another big giant 
building with a lot of things to deco and the only room I even used was the machine shop and that's what I decided to deco because it was starting to get a little bit oversized and like I say it was getting a little crazy. This leads up into my my spire. So this is I don't know if I had this complete last time on the last video. I might have had this section built and finished, but now this is all you can see it's 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 all enclosed in. Um and it leads up to my living quarters, which I'll take you up later on. This just goes into an open, a, a, a nice open viewing area. Um, this was a pain in the ass to get structural integrity, to get all these glass panes to not collapse and stuff. Uh, funny enough, these glass are these balls here that I have floating are actual structural support. Those are actual pillars. I just decorated them as balls. So they're actually pillars that cause my glass to not collapse. And I can show you, I'll show you the structural integrity here. You can see. Okay, go away in. Thank you. Uh, you can see that the the balls have structural integrity, full solid green structural integrity when they're on top of each other like that, because um, they don't they don't recognize that that they're physically not taking up a solid block because in the computer they are, so they're actually sitting snugly on top of each other and they're also airtight that whole area anything in there. So if I if I was able to jump on top of this ball and stand in between those and we were out in the middle of a snowstorm, I would be actually okay. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? As long as there was power to the base. That's all that's required is power. Okay. Uh, converting this over obviously threw some weird spiky bits up. Um, not really sure what those are. I'm not sure if this is going to be on the server when I convert the server to 7.0, but I doubt it because I'm going to do a full wipe to 7, even though it looks like it might not be necessary. Or, you know what, I'll take a consensus. I might not wipe. What I might do is wipe my character and do a fresh start for myself and wipe all my content and all my stuff and just whatever play fields that people have bases on, maybe I won't wipe except for the starting ones because I'll have to. Although I will have to probably wipe some of the secondary play fields. And as you'll, you'll see what I mean by secondary play fields. Uh, so they're the second tier play fields that you can warp to with an SV to get Cobalt, Neo and Sath. Well, to get Neo and Sath anyway, because they, they pretty much to make the game staged more. They they pretty much remove Neo and Sath from starting play fields or from starting sectors. And um, the starting planets don't have cobalt on them anymore, but the starting sectors do. So the, the orbits and the moons still have cobalt on them. So you can still get the cobalt necessary to build the SVs. Uh, the little bit better SVs and the, and the stuff required to get a warp drive, an SV warp drive, um, in the starting sectors. Um, so here, let me get rid of my structural integrity because that's ridiculous. So here we go. Let's, um, you can see I finished off the, oh, I've got some texturing that bled through. I obviously missed a couple spots. Let's see if I can get up, get up here by jumping. Two blocks. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yay! And, oh my god, I suck. Okay, let's try this again. Wow. <laughs> I'm, am I jumping high enough? Let's see. Let's see. Wait for my jetpack to fully go. There we go. Oh, and I missed it again. Are you <laughs> but I moved forward. Okay, let's try this again. Third time's charm, right? 
Hey, hey. There we go. And I move forward, and now I am on the other side. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so let's try. Let's try jumping here. And we'll just move over a bit. Whoa, wrong way. I know I can do this. Have faith in me. Okay, fifth try, fifth time's charm. Fifth time's charm. There we go. There we go. Just went. There we go. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, so I've I finished off this hall. Um, I did, I haven't decoded it obviously, but I did texture it and and paint it. Um, I think it looks pretty good. So this is the this is the um. This is the, not the utility hall downstairs, because there's one hall underneath this, which is kind of the utility hall that's going to lead to the kitchen and stuff, if I actually ever get around to building the kitchen. Oh, you can see, look at, here's some of the new textures. Here's the new texture of the default texture of, of wood uh, for seven. So there we go. Uh, that is one of the changes there. You can see it. Let's go into here. Uh, so this is the entrance into the Great Hall. I did some work on the Great Hall. Uh, what I did is I decided to, oh, I haven't painted that yet, but I did texture it. So I, I textured it up. I made some wooden mezzanines. Um, and what I decided to do was the, you kind of notice this looks a little, strange because what I'm doing is that's an IMAX screen damn it I made a, myself an IMAX theater I haven't actually finished it yet but that what this is going to be it's going to be the great hall so this is going to be there's going to be tables down here uh, uh, for dancing and this will be like a club this is a party feast hall club nightclub uh, this is like rocking with a with an ice cream with an IMAX screen on one of the walks. Is, wouldn't that be cool? Go to a nightclub with a freaking IMAX screen for like music videos and 3D stuff. Well, they're like it would be just intense. You have like like the uh, the DJ would be able to just do some crazy stuff on on an IMAX screen, wouldn't he? I think that's just I thought that was a cool idea. So yeah, I have an IMAX theater in my castle uh, and this actually leads into my my uh, my own personal party room I haven't decoded out but it is uh, textured and and water generator gone removed from okay well something didn't transfer over from the save correctly hmm didn't like my water generator for some reason it looks like it kept everything else down there in my, uh, oh, you know, see those towers? They're not the same size. Oh, that was some horrible construction. So that's my wet generator room down there. Uh, okay, actually here, let's um, just quickly take the, thank you for a quick tour. So I also heightened this a bit because it looked really stupid with it being so squat. So now I heighten that. So the longhouse, this is the face of the longhouse and that butts up against the great hall. I was going to eventually poke out more of these patios coming off the great hall on the mezzanine from the mezzanines. At least that one and possibly the, the second floor one there. So those two mezzanines will have patios out on them and that'll kind of flesh that out. Uh, I may still do that. Um, but it's unlikely, it's unlikely because I, I'm probably going to wipe the multiplayer. Now this, I finished this off. Oh my God. Can't really see that very well. Let's go up. Let's go up and check out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the grid, the long house. Let's go up here. And can we get 
Oh, I haven't punched this all the way through. I was gonna, I moved the, I moved it from the other side and I was gonna move it to here because it made more sense for me. But, because um, I was gonna have this elevator up to the mezzanines too. So I was just gonna poke that through the roof. Okay, so that's not done. That's not a big deal. Let's um, take it, continue the tour here. So let's, this is the, this is the second floor. Uh, oh, I haven't finished painting that. That is the default color. That, that blue is the accept any paint color thing. So I still got to paint all that, but I have, I've textured it. It just needs painting. I thought I had painted it. Maybe it, um, Maybe I textured it from upstairs and screwed it all up. Yeah, I did. Look at that. That's all the carpet. Ah. So I have to fix a bunch of the the um, texturing because I didn't have it single face only when I was doing it. So here's what it looks like from patio looking up at the spire, uh, the the glass observatory room. Let's call that the 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 tea room, because that would be a fantastic place to go and sit and have a nice cup of tea. Uh, and then my spire. The sun's a little bright there. So let's head up into the spire. Um, we'll have to get to it from below. You know what? Let's just jump down. Can we jump down from here? Yes, we can. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh, oh now I... <laughs> really? <laughs> it, it recharged after I hit the ground. Normally it recharges a little quicker than that. Well, oh well. Okay, so I took some damage. Whatever. So I thought it actually, I thought this turned out pretty good. Um, the pillars added like a, a bit of a, a, a little bit of a, a sculpture look to it. I, I thought, it, I think it looks pretty good in here. But, you know, art is personal and it's different for everyone. So this might look totally cheesy and stupid to other people. So here's my my entryway into my into the pinnacle with or the spire if you want to call it. Up to my living quarters. So we'll go up and up and up and up and the energy of the spire. Do whoa 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 did you notice something? <laughs> this goes out into nothingness. Kind of freaky. Yes, you can fall to your death if you don't pay attention. So I'm just gonna let my jump, jump pack, jump pack up. There we go. And we're into my living room of my living quarters. So um, I decoded it out a little bit. It's not too extravagant. I've got so many other areas of the castle to relax in and enjoy. This is kind of my personal, you know, only only people in my close personal bubble, bubble get up here. Even though I've unlocked the doors for people to view it, but, you know. So I moved the elevator. I originally had it going straight up through the center and um, it didn't work so well. So I, I moved it from the center to the side for the other floors. Here's my kitchen dining area. Well, they've changed a bunch of these decos, the colors on them. Oh, look at that. It's a bright green one. I haven't seen that yet. So this is, again, this is actually running in the colors and textures, these are all 7.0 uh, alpha 7.0 colors and textures. Um, so they changed that texture too. That was, uh, that was completely different. 
I changed that texture. My saline texture has changed. Okay, well, interesting. Let's take a look at our uh, texture tool now. Whoa. And wow, holy crap. So this is obviously a wood block that we're looking at. Um, they added a whole bunch more cool textures. Uh, and I think we're not going to get into this on this episode. What we're going to, I'm just showing you the castle. I'm going to make a new series for seven, for Experimental Seven, and I'll be running Experimental Seven uh, in single player. Oh, look at that. That's the shadow. <laughs> hey, look, I'm, I'm mechanoid. It's a uh, Minecraft. Okay. So here's my bathroom. Uh, made myself a big uh, uh, shower that actually is also a tub too, a, a, a big soaker tub. I couldn't figure out how to put the jacuzzi jets in, but maybe maybe with some new deco and stuff. But I'm not going to get into that. We've got a, a, a rain shower head um, up there. So basically, you get in there, you stand, you, you, you fill it up, you have your nice jacuzzi bath, you drain it out, and then while you're in the bathtub, you shower off in a nice rain shower. So it's, it's ideal. Um, but that's just for looks. It does nothing. <laughs> it's not functional. This one, on the other hand, is the actual shower deco and reduces your radiation. Woo! Okay, up, up and away into my bedroom. So I did a little bit of some art just by some blocks, wood blocks. Um, went with the floating globe theme because that's sort of in this area of the castle. Made a little, you know. And no, did you notice there's no TV? because the view is spectacular from here. Why would you want a TV disrupting this view? Amazing, eh? Could you imagine having a view like this? This is, this is the view of like a ski chalet, right? Like amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, it looks like some of my texturing is changed with the concrete strip on the top there. So let's go check that out. Let's, um, you know what, we'll, we'll just go right up to the top and go outside. And this will give me heebie-jeebies. Take my drone and fly away <laughs> over my castle. Oh yeah, see, they changed the texture. The roof tile textures are all changed. <gasps> oh, I thought I was gonna fall off the edge. Thank God for parry-ups that I made. So that was kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's try this again. Fly over the edge. So there's, oh yeah, there's my control tower. We never went up in there and I didn't show you that. So, there we go, there's my, so there's the pyramid spire producing all the energy flowing up the spire into my pinnacle. If I get it far enough away without the stupid drone. It's not gonna do it, no. Okay. That's fine. What we'll do is, sorry, I'm just trying to show you the saturation, how it, how it looks uh, without it all flaking out video wise with my drone being too far away. So let's go down and down and down and down. So my, yes, my living quarters are four stories high. They're not very big though. Well, I guess they are four stories, pretty good square footage each room, I guess. So yeah. But I mean, this isn't where I hang out. I would hang out 
in other areas of the castle. I mean, I got a big eye screen or IMAX. I call it my GTI Max screen. Okay, so let's show you what it looks like from here. And so when I lose contact with my drone, I'll actually fall off my pinnacle and die for you guys. I think I think you guys would enjoy that. Uh, still need some texturing and stuff. Okay, so let's go down so that we can back off and look at this. Okay, so it's not doing it anymore in seven. In six, the light saturation created this like mystical kind of effect, which it doesn't seem to be doing now. But it's still, it's still, it's funny. All that blue light is actually coming from the pinnacle below and glowing against it. It's, there used to be a nice trick you could do with that oversaturation in six, but it doesn't seem to do it now. Maybe it's just not doing it for the drone. Let's try. Oh, see, it might actually do it for me. So let's. Um, Let's let's see if I can move down without dying. Okay, come on, jump, jump. No, let's step down. There we go. Okay. Is it gonna? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was just the drone's vision has the drone's camera. So there's that funky oversaturation that I'm talking about. That that wicked glow mystical energy glow that that it causes with oversaturation so that was the that was what i was trying to show you guys anyway we'll just um mosey on over to the control tower here so really i mean this is just a deco building <laughs> the most part that's the only uh, uh from from like this level down it serves no other purpose because it's actually an elevator shaft from here down but anything up was just it was just deco and i'll just show you why not i mean oh look at this the orange there's some color differences with some of the deco now so these oh yeah okay so these are now instead of that bluish aquamarine they're now this orange they actually cause a little bit of oversaturation too eh some flare to them now okay yeah that red that red color has flare huh okay well that's something new and then we can go upstairs to the roof and this just leads to a bunch of antennas and so yeah yeah we've got uh we've got our satellite dishes down there and there's a pretty good view of the uh there we go this is a good view So, my castle. We'll go. We'll go uh, head down. Um, since we're right here, we'll go straight down and take the SV out, and I'll show you it by daylight. We've got uh, a little bit of time left, and uh, that'll probably be it for the episode for the for the season too. Because I'm going to start a new season with. Um, Alpha 7. Um, and that'll probably be on single player mode because I'm not going to convert the server over yet until it goes public. You know what I'm saying? Until it's actually in stable. Until 7 goes into public stable release. I won't be putting it on the server. I'll just be letting that run. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Let's jump in the SV and I'll just 
give you a quick aerial. And wow, I, it's because I got too many like multi boosts and like, like <laughs> I can't. Okay, come on, really? Okay. Jump in. Uh, another thing, huge changes, which we're going to get into in the next season uh, with all the cost of everything. Um, huge, huge, huge changes. The amount of Arrestrium, Zascosium, Neodymium, and Sathium has increased tenfold the amount that you need. Like, seriously, it has jumped big time. Especially Neo, Arrestrium, and Sass. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. And I'm not going to show you the statistics on this because it'll dishearten you guys. Um, and I haven't actually been able to find any yet. I've just started. So I'll be starting a new uh, season and fresh start to, um, to give you guys a look at it. But okay, let's quick dawdling here. We'll finish this off. Jump in and milk. I love how big I made this machine shop. I can actually spin in a circle. I can actually fly around inside of it. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Now, what I could do is go like this and go just straight up. Oops, my nose is bumping. Whoa. There we go. Okay, so we'll just fly backwards here really quick and oh I get as I get too far away the dirt that's been dug out um, is gets removed or gets added again. It's kind of a video glitch, but so the sun's going down really fast now. Great. I'm just trying to show this to you before the sun goes down on it. We'll head towards the sun a bit to give us a, a view. So this is, you can see there's still a bunch of texturing. So as we move away from it, a kilometer away and it's still clearly visible let's see how far we can get before it oh there it finally disappeared one point where did it go it's one point oh there we go one point we'll call it 1.2 kilometers and then it comes into view And from this range, you can't really tell how big it is. It looks like a separate structure there, but it's actually not, obviously. Oh, sh shoot, I forgot to show you the downstairs. Uh, so let's just take a look at what it looks like really quick from daylight before. Uh, so we'll just, we'll just do a, we'll just fly around sideways and show you guys what this looks like it's not bad not bad not bad for a little base eh Closer. Now that the light is going away, it's harder to see. So as we get closer, here, let me turn my headlights on. So as we get closer, there's the the entry. So you can see there's a bunch of texturing that I've missed still. But overall, it kind of looks like a castle. It's definitely once you get down here, it's definitely a large structure. <laughs> oh, I 
think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so let's take you downstairs. And we'll finish off this tour. So this is my, originally, I dug out the underground of this first and got the base up and running with all the basics, you know, power and, and um, stuff like that. All the, all the necessary stuff. And then, so I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly show you my wet gen room. Do it with my drone. As you can notice how I designed my SV. I can actually stand inside my SV, protected, and pop my drone out. Um, that's a common theme of my vehicles now is I make like a flying box. Okay, so, ooh, uh, we have, we have some disrupted stuff. So we lost a bunch of, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We lost four hydrogen generators, the oxygen generator and the water generator. Um, That's really weird. I mean, not that big of a deal. That's the only glitch I've seen so far is it removed some of the generators, some of the wet generators. Not all, but that's really weird that it, because I had 12 of the hydrogen ones in here and now there's only eight. So it removed four of the hydrogen ones. Now I'm not, I don't understand why. Um, and it re-added a bunch of this dirt. But it looks really weird. What, um, what kind of dirt is this? Let's dig it here. Can you dig it? Well, it nuked it, whatever it was. It's just regular dirt by the look of it. Okay. Anyway, so this is my uh, wet generator room. So that's all. Um, enclosed and I, I guess you wouldn't be able to see that with the because it wasn't in there but you can see it's 20 degrees in here so it is sealed and it's minus two outside okay let's keep going on finish off the tour here so this is the just the underground tunnel this used to look like a bat cave when I first dug it out it's kind of cool not so much anymore now. All right. Okay, let's go like this. And we'll go like this. And we'll go like this. And we fly down here. Still have to texture and deco all this. I, I'm probably not going to touch this now, obviously. Now the seven's out. Okay, are you going to let me in? Yeah, okay. Okay, so here's my underground parking. Uh, so this is pretty much my, my HV parking. Um, and I've got one of my HVs right there parked. And you can see the stalls are massive, really. Because that's actually not a small little HV. Um, but it looks small in here. I like the fact that I can, like, fly around in here. Although this, this plane is way too twitchy. It's a combat plane. It's not meant to do these slow little fly around stuff. This is, this SV that I'm flying right now is a high powered, super fast, ultra maneuverable. Let's park. Turn my lights off. Actually, we'll just power it right down and we'll jump out. Put our shoulder light on. So this, um, this was the first room I made. Oh, you can see a bunch of my texturing. It's just, it's not sticking. It's weird, eh? Huh. So yeah, some of the coloring never stuck. That's really weird because I had this place all 100% painted and everything. 
Huh. Okay, so there's going to be issues with a straight conversion of an old save file, of a, of a 6.0 save file, because that's what I've done. I've just loaded the 671, 6.7.1 save file and fired it up with, with the uh, experimental 7. And so I'm getting, getting a bunch of really weird colors and stuff that it did see it changed a bunch of stuff for i don't even know why oh oh um look at that that i just noticed this texture accepts paint now wow Uh, okay, so does this texture accept paint then? Let's take a look. We've got my paint gun on me. Um, we'll change it to something quite visible. And yes, it accepts paint now. <gasps> Big change. Wow. Oh my. Uh, okay. So if it accepts paint, does it accept? Symbols? Hmm. Oh, look at all the new textures that concrete can do. Oh, that looks... Okay, so I don't want to spoil... I don't want too many spoilers because I'm going to be showing all this and... Oh, man. Wow, that's a bit of a spoiler, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now if they would let us change the colors of the symbols. <laughs> One step at a time, right? All right. Well, it looks like their texturing has quite improved. Uh, they've added a bunch of textures that you can paint. So we're going to get into that hardcore in the next season, uh, going through the through Experimental 7. So, okay, well, none of this looks like it's changed. Um, oh, I see one big change. The repair station. Which now actually requires a cosium to make, so yeah, good luck making one of those on the starter planet. Although I did make one because I looted a bunch of <laughs> Zascosium in a restroom, but uh, okay, so this is the basement, and then we'll finish off the tour going back to the death trap here, up the elevator shaft. Do 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 da 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 just just trying to get some Muzak playing for you in the elevator, you know, some elevator Muzak. This is, as you can see, one hell of a long elevator shaft. And there we go. Up into my tea room. Where we can, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna jump down there at this point. We don't need to go through all the elevators. Uh, so there are some rooms below us. They're just big, empty conference rooms. So like, seriously, I don't even need to show them to you. It's just, there's four of them. They're big, giant, empty conference rooms. Watch me die because my jetpack won't be back up. Oh, I oh, I didn't die. I hurt myself. Okay. So there we have it. My castle. There's the glow of that texture at night. You can see it from quite a distance. And that's why I chose that texture because it's not actually, it doesn't emit light. So there's no flare off of it. 
and you can see it way further distance than regular light so that's that's one of the reasons why I chose it so that you could see it from quite a distance well guys this was actually a good learning experience building this castle let's check out the final stats on it here I'm not going to deco this up it is up to a class 51 like seriously class 51 yikes uh we'll quickly go through you know i had like i think i have a whole bunch of ungrouped stuff too but you know lots of cargo 56 cargo boxes apparently apparently 56 um that are grouped uh five constructors that are grouped um we have 107 doors that are grouped uh okay and 53 pieces of equipment so that looks like it's like an armor locker bathroom vanities beds chairs so i didn't really do a lot of decoing as you can see i didn't there's not a lot there in the way of deco yet okay and then we're on to food processors had six food processors uh whoops uh we have 10 fridges um 14 fuel tanks, mostly T3s and T2s. Um, one generator, and that's really all this place needed was this one giant generator. Uh, 12 growing lights. Uh, 14 hangers or shutters. <laughs> 14. So it looks like only two of them were shutters. So that would be 12 hangar doors. 12 hangar doors on a base. Wow. Okay. 351 lights that are grouped. Well, uh, okay. We have uh, two medic stations, one cloning sta station, one cloning chamber, I should say. 202 stations uh 502 tanks now that's just all courtesy because there's a, this is breathable atmosphere here on wind so so i just installed those for people to fill up their suits because it's not necessary for survival now the ungrouped stuff i'm not going to count it all but you can see it's ridiculous 724 ungrouped items um i mean i guess what i could do is we can get a final tally by auto grouping uh so here we go we have where's the doors doors 171 doors apparently <laughs> uh 164 pieces of equipment which is like pretty much all the deco and some like the machine shop i think the um i think the repair station yeah the repair stations And then all the scanners, all the deco, really. Except for, there's no plants. There's no plant deco. Okay, so I'm not sure where that would be. Um, we have 18 fridges, 14 fuel tanks, 12 grow lights, 15 shutter hangar doors, 881 lights. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so one ATM. So there you have it. Let's check out the stats. If they will load. So it only, it's only a level 15 base because I, there's no guns on it. And that's what really cranks up the, uh, the level requirements. Um, so it is 370 meters by 478 meters by 226 meters, 19.6 kilotons, uh, 50,489 blocks, 4,915 devices, 893 lights, uh, 215,697 triangle counts, one Jenny, uh 18 fuel or sorry 14 fuel tanks no warp drive obviously it's a base 
uh, five oxygen tanks, two oxygen stations, one or two medic stations, one cloning chamber, and the construction costs are so this is this is actually now converted into 7.0 construction costs. So this might shock you guys a little bit. So the iron count is way down from what it was, but it's still 5,140 iron, 20,308 silicone because of all the glass, uh, 74,502 rocks. Well, of course, it's mostly made out of concrete. Uh, 1,700 copper, um, 7,900 wood planks, 7,934 wood planks. We have 954 cobalt, 407 plastic, 108 growing plots, um, 990 neo, 406 sass. See, it never used almost any of that before, so that's all cranked up now. Uh, 46 arrestrium, 46 ascosium. That didn't change that much because I think the constructors and all that didn't change a lot on their requirements that way uh don't quote me on that so there you have it class 51 base and overkill for my uh the whole pur purpose was to build a base where i could store some private cargo boxes so i think i accomplished that um you know i got my 56 cargo boxes <laughs> and uh and yeah um, a little overkill, but I had fun building it and I learned a lot while building it, especially about structural integrity and how useless wood is. <laughs> so it's just for lux. It's not very, it's not very, uh, builder friendly. Um, concrete's much more builder friendly. And then obviously steel and hardened steel and combat steel, all that sort of stuff, uh, is even more, has more structural integrity to it. So, well, guys. I enjoyed doing these uh, this series for you. There will be a new series series in the near future um, showing off Experimental 7. And I'll be just doing that in single player mode. And I'll, uh, I'll start a new game. Um, and we'll just, we'll go along through the thing and, and explore and see what changes there are and, and what I, sh what you need to do to actually, um, progress through the game in, in experimental seven. Um, so there you go, guys. Sorry. It's so dark out. I, for some reason, I always choose nighttime to, to do these videos, which is really weird, but, um, yeah, I don't even want to show you the specs on the on the death trap because it's going to scare the crap out of you guys. <sighs> Should I just give you a quick sneak peek? And... Duh! Duh! <laughs> You'll have to pause the video and look at those stats if you really want. Okay. Yeah, so some of the conversion costs are going to be a little steep. Uh, making a CV right off the bat is not really possible. Um, but we're going to explore all that in seven. So guys, thanks a lot for following the series. Uh, if you like this episode, like, and subscribe, we're going to, uh, carry on the next set of the next season is going to be based on experimental seven and we'll try and, uh, see what's broken, see what's fixed, see what's new, see what's old, see what's blue, see what's gray, see what's happy, see what's sad. Until then, guys, you have a good day, and thanks for coming out. Ciao for now.